an autumn windy day. It was Jumbo's birthday. He was dancing and playing with his friends, hoping this day would never end. Everyone ran to hide all the same, but Jumbo slipped and fell. And that was the end of the game. All the animals heard the fall, but Mommy Jumbo ran before them all. <gasps> Jumbo! Oh, Jumbo. Combo, you have to take him to Mr. Fox immediately. So, without further delay, off to Mr. Fox's house, they hurried away. Hey, Mrs. Combo, what's wrong? Help me, Mr. Fox. Jumbo is ill. Oh, please come in. You look cold, Jumbo. I'll get you something hot to drink. Thank you, Mr. Fox. We were celebrating Jumbo's birthday. Oh, happy birthday, Jumbo! Thank you, Mr. Fox. But as he was playing with his friends, he slipped and fell into the pond. He started shivering and sneezing. I feared he might be sick, so I thought I should bring him to you, just in case. Well, why don't you lie down, Jumbo, and let's take your temperature. Open your mouth, say, ah! Ah! Fever, stuffy nose, red dots all over his trunk. It's definitely Sniffles. Oh my, Sniffles? Don't worry, Mrs. Combo. It's just a Sniffles fever. It will go away. All you need, champ, is some rest and just one pill of antidote. And when you're better, you can go back to play with your friends. Thank you, Mr. Fox. After thanking Mr. Fox, Mrs. Combo took Jumbo back home to let him rest. All right, Jumbo. Now all you need to do is follow Mr. Fox's advice and keep Mr. Thermometer under... Uh, under... Under my tongue? To find out if I'm all better so I can go outside and play with my friends? But first, you gotta... So I, uh, gotta... Uh, <laughs> keep my thermometer in my mouth? Right, son. You can count on me. Now, you'll stay put and... Uh, I add... Uh, <laughs> Oh, sorry. Call me when it beeps. Hello, Frisky. How are you? Hi, Mr. Fox. Roo and I were playing and I'm about to win! Listen, Frisky. I'm going to visit Jumbo now and check on him. I'm sure he'd be really happy if you and Roo come with me. What do you think? Great idea, Mr. Fox. I want to check on him too. We'll meet you there. As agreed, Mr. Fox met Frisky and Roo at Jumbo's house. I'm coming! Hello, Mrs. Combo. We came to check on Jumbo. I hope he's feeling better now. Why, yes, Mr. Fox. Come in, everyone. Hey, Jumbo! I came to check on you. And I brought your friends along too. Are you feeling better now? Hi, Mr. Fox. Hi, guys. Hey, Jumbo. How are you feeling? Well, I feel better, but... Well, we need to take your temperature one more time, Jumbo. Is it time? It's time, all right. What does it say? Well, let's see. Your temperature is, um... Oh! Your temperature is just fine and dandy, Jumbo. You're not sick anymore. 
You are a okay. Yes. Now we can go outside and play. But first, I need to tell mom. Mom? Mom? Where could she be? She's not in the kitchen. Mom? She's not in the living room. I wonder where she is. I'm here in the bedroom. What? <laughs> Mom? Are you okay? I think I might have caught a case of sniffles too. What? <laughs> Don't worry, dear. I'll. Uh, I'll. Uh, <laughs> I'll be fine. Now why don't you go out and play hopscotch with your friends? I'll join you when I get better. But mom, I won't be happy if I go to play and leave you here all by yourself. I'll be only thinking of you. So, what do you think you should do, little Jumbo? I have to sit here and take care of you, mommy. You always take care of me when I get sick. I'll take care of you and never leave you alone. Oh. I love you more than anything in the whole wide world, Jumbo. Now it's time to take your temperature. Right, Mr. Fox? You're absolutely right, Jumbo. So rather than go out to play, by his mother's side he decided to stay. <laughs>